This September, a uh, thousand students in art and design, photography, fine art, uh, social sciences are going to be on a new campus at Grange Gorman. The new campus is in refurbished existing buildings that uh, continue uh, the tradition of a site which was formerly walled in and, uh, and a barrier uh, to different parts of, of the city. This new campus brings together DIT uh, ultimately on a single campus in the very heart of Dublin. The thousand students that are going to be here in September 2014 are uh, going to be joined ultimately by 10,000 students in September 2017 uh, which will bring together all those students from the sites in Kevin Street, Carborough Street, Mount Joe Square, Portland Road, Temple Bar, etc. to a vibrant uh, student community of over 10,000 students with very extensive facilities and will be one of the largest student communities on the island of Ireland. My name is John O'Connor. I'm Director and Dean of the College of Arts and Tourism here at DIT and I'm delighted to be here on this lovely summer's day to welcome you to what's going to be our new campus here in Grange Gorman in September. What you'll be coming to is the culmination of a good number of years of planning to bring all our various campuses together into one new site in the city centre in Dublin. Grange Gorman has been walled in, it's been a hidden part of the city and one of the aspects is opening it out and people will be surprised how close it is to the centre of Dublin. It's within uh, a kilometre of the spire, it will be serviced by a Lewis stop ultimately which is two stops from O'Connell Street. Uh, it backs onto the North Circular Road, goes all the way down to Smithfield um, and with, with Stony Batter on the one side and ultimately an entrance out to Constitution Hill opposite uh, King's Inns on the other. Uh, so it will be very much part, a new part, of Dublin city centre. The new campus is in Dublin city centre. It's very easily accessible by public transport. Um, main entrances uh, going out onto the North Circular Road, onto Grange Gorman itself and down to Smithfield where there are good links uh, through to, to the Lewis and serviced by a whole range of bus routes and ultimately, uh, in a few years time, by the Lewis Cross City Line uh, with dedicated stops uh, at Broadstone opposite uh, King's Inns. This campus map shows the main buildings and facilities that will be accessible in 2014. There are two main entrances to the campus. One is located at North Circular Road. The 46A bus stops just beside the main entrance, which enters via the HSE Phoenix Care Centre. The 39A, 39, 70 and 37 buses also stop close by at Hamlin's Corner. The entrance is closest to the North House and the North House Annex, which will house the studios and also lecture rooms. The other main entrance is on Grange Gorman Lower, just opposite the Clock Tower building. This entrance is closest to Ratdown House, Brad Oak, Glassman Oak and St Lawrence's. It is also closest to the City Centre and Lewis Stop at Smithfield. On the map, you can see numerous yellow bicycle symbols. These indicate spaces where there are bike stands for locking your bike. At the rear of the North House, on the North Circular Road side, there is a secure bike compound which can hold up to 80 bicycles. Remember, even if your bike is in a secure compound, you should lock it securely. The advice is that your lock should cost around 20% of the cost of your bike. There are showers available in North House, Rathdown House, Brad Oak and Glassman Oak, which can be used by staff and students who jog or cycle to college. On the map, you can also see the I symbol for information points. These points will have information about events on campus, but they are also part of the security and safety features of the campus. All info points will be overlooked by CCTV and also have a built-in security point through which you can communicate with security. The campus will be well lit, there will be CCTV monitored by security staff based on a full-time basis in Orchard House near the clock tower. Over 90% of DIT staff and students use sustainable methods to get to college. Walking, cycling, bus and train. There is a very limited amount of parking on campus, located near the North House. On the map, the blue wheelchair symbols indicate parking spots for people who are mobility impaired. However, Parkright and Smithfield have a special rate for DIT staff and students, and cars can be parked at the rate of €4 Euro a day. The Lewis also passes close by the campus in Smithfield. On the map, you will also see three green A's. These are the assembly points in case of fire alarms. 
Rathdown House contains the main reception for the campus. Near the entrance, you will also find the Campus Support Services Centre. The Campus Support Services Centre houses student services staff who can answer queries about your student status and replace lost ID cards. Staff from Disability Service, Careers, Counselling and Exams will also be based here. Rathdown House also contains the main restaurant, the library and access and civic engagement staff and some academic staff offices. Brad Oak contains the DIT Students Union offices, a social area for students and the Black Box Theatre or Dance Studio. The Clubs and Societies office is based upstairs with hot desks for student societies. There are some postgrad offices upstairs also. St Lawrence's is the church on campus and will be used for multiple uses, including education, spiritual and recreation. Glass Manog is mainly dedicated to sports and recreation. Access to the all-weather pitch can also be booked through the sports reception in Glass Manog. The Clock Tower building will contain staff offices for campus planning and the Grange Gorman Development Agency, as well as meeting rooms. I very much look forward to welcoming you all here. Those of you who will be joining us for the first time as new students and also those second years, third years and fourth years coming to our new campus which will have creativity and innovation at its centre. DIT has origins going back over 130 years but for, for many reasons the new campus at uh, Grange Gorman is the start of a new journey for the next 100 years and as my office will be there I personally look forward to welcoming our students to what is going to be the, the home for DIT uh, going into the future.